Hello everybody, welcome back to Red Tool House. On today's video, we're going to, uh, I want to give some updates on the garden and how it's working out for us. Now, we're by no means master gardeners. This is, um, uh, this is probably one of the better gardens we've had since we've tried to do gardening. I've always said I've got a black thumb, but um, things are actually starting to come together for once. And I really attribute it to, uh, to this, the fact that we've got uh, ample amounts of uh, wood chips at our disposal. So let me show you some details. So last year we did just a small test bed. It's actually this area right through here where you see these uh, pepper plants. Uh, we had a test bed. It was one, uh, just one big, one big bed all around through here. No footpath last year. Wood chips down, or actually composted manure down first, and then wood chips. And we we had a pretty good crop of tomatoes. Nothing, nothing crazy. But uh, fast forward a year, so uh, the, earlier this spring. I was going in here and prepping this. I wanted to put a um, walkway in. We actually did 30 inch beds here. So I wanted to do a walkway between each bed. And as I was in here shoveling out and moving these, uh, this compost to make these footpaths, because I didn't want my good dirt to be wasted in footpath, just saw all this great compost, the composted manure, the wood chips that were composted were really great. So anyway, long story short, we're, we're using wood chips again. We're using it uh, you can see our older wood chips you see here are, are wood chips that have started to compost and break down. So they're actually on top of our good soil that we're planting in. And then here are our walkways are my newer chips. I'm always looking for new uses uh, for the slabs off the sawmill, you know, the, the, the sections of wood that come off the bark. Um, so what I'm using, I'm using them for footpaths. You can see here I've got slabs buried right here. You can see how wet that is. I mean that's that's soaking wet and that's just an inch below these wood chips. So I put those down first, put these fresh chips, these are chips that we actually created with our new Titan chipper, uh, put those down just uh, probably a month ago and they've worked really well uh, really keeping the weeds down. That's what I love about there's been really hardly any weed pressure. I mean literally walking around and finding I can't even see a weed here. Well, here, here's a tiny little chunk of grass that's starting to grow up through the... You can see how easy that was to pull out. So that's really all we're dealing with as far as weeds go. Uh, literally less than an hour a week, Callie or I are spending here pulling weeds. So it's working out really well. So what we want to do is just expand that. You can see back here where I've got these, uh, I've got these slabs down and I don't have them covered in wood chips. And you can actually see that slab has started to bow up, so I've got to turn that guy over. Uh, but come in and just just lay all that down. Yeah, a little bit of grass growing up through the cracks here, but I can uh, knock that down and choke it out. Here, I've buried some of the slabs in this uh, walkway. We've got three three paths, but obviously on the outer edge, even the outer edge, we're putting putting these slabs down, and you can see how it's and Kelly's been putting our cut grass on top of it too, so it's keeping that at bay. But what we need to do is uh, go make more chips. So uh, we're gonna do some function stacking here and get us several things done at the same time. Well, okay, the functions we are going to stack is, this is, um, this is an area, our old chicken pasture is over here, house is back here. This is the old root cellar uh, from the original farm. Uh, all stone blocks, it's obviously fallen over. But you can see the autumn olive has, by, uh, has taken off quite a bit. We're gonna take it out and chip it because it's actually, uh, autumn olive is a nitrogen fixer, so it, it has uh, a lot of mulch potential. The thing we're going to watch, of course, is not incorporate any root material and make sure there's no fruit on the bushes. And I've gone through and checked, and, and we don't have any fruit production on these, uh, these bushes. Because uh, obviously if they get those autumn olive seeds and we mulch our garden with it, that's going to be trouble. And you can see here we've got a little bit of pine, a little sycamore, more autumn olive. We're just going to go this way with some of these saplings. Um, again, the old chicken coop's back there. You can, I don't even think you can see it. But uh, we'll take out these saplings here and bring the tractor with the chipper here and transport it to the garden versus cutting everything and dragging it up to the house. So here's a better shot of how uh, bushy this has gotten. It's uh, There's been a lot of sapling growing over here. So we can come in, a lot of, a lot of small stuff, you know, one inch, two inch material. So a lot of this we'll take out and uh, chip up. But first we got to get uh, the tractor. We've got the box blade on the tractor right now, so we got to get the 
chipper put on it. A little chink in the armor with the plan of uh, of doing this by myself is uh, I don't have uh, another person to drive the vehicle. I want to put my wood chips in the side by side. So we're going to walk back to the barn and get the side by side now that we have the tractor where we want it. All my help is away tonight at the in-laws. So it's either in-laws or cut wood chips. You guys know the answer to that, right? Okay, so the first step is get everything on the ground we want to chip up and Obviously, do it in do it in sections there. So we'll get everything on the ground, uh, put the saw away, and then we can start chipping. Well, that opened her up a little bit, so uh, I'm still gonna have to go in there and cut some of the bigger limbs down, but we'll, uh, or cut them up, but we'll get the small stuff out of the way first, get some chips made, and see what we can do. Put this uh, piece of plywood here as a make makeshift backstop. Um, that way I don't shoot and cover up my dashboard, of course. <laughs> Another issue with uh, being a one-man show tonight. on the flow how low can you go all the way to the flow okay so if my aim is true we back this up just a cat's whisker Here we go. Make sure I have no loose loops on my gloves or anything. Definitely don't want to get sucked into this puppy. All right, let's test our shoot location with some uh, autumn olive. <laughs> Thank you. 
times when you think you're genius and you're like oh this is brilliant I was able to take that piece of plywood and stick it up behind the flare of my roof so I wouldn't have to worry about it falling over when it's empty now the problem is I can't dump the bed because <laughs> I've got it jammed brilliant all right never let it be said there aren't any geniuses on Red Bull House okay move the little material now we got it now let's take a bit can't do this with one hand. Okay. Empty bed. All right, well, there's the second load, and we still have a decent amount of treetops to do. You can see them all back through there. Still need to, to do, but I'm about 20 minutes from dark. Almost every battery I got on every device is dead. This one's getting ready to die. I'm a little worn out. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to stop here. I'll go take this and dump it. And uh, maybe do a little bit more in the morning. All right, I thought I'd uh, shoot a little bit here as we as I brought it up and got it to the garden. So that's two bed loads, two dump beds. And that's pretty, pretty good. Now again, there's a lot of a lot of leaves in that so that organic that green is going to break down faster right now it's obviously makes the pile look a little bit bigger than it is but there's still it's pretty some dense mass it doesn't compact too much so it's not like it's just a pile of leaves but it will uh, it'll break down again you can see this is something that stripe there is uh, about a month ago when we first got the chipper and the same with this stripe here and of course this is last year's compost or last year's wood chips so uh, you can kind of see the difference in tone and color but how they break down those leaves brown pretty quickly and of course make a nice mat for weed control um, i would not put this directly around the plants per se from what i've read and what i understand that that would uh, maybe steal a lot of nitrogen from the plants from the ground around it so that's why we're just using as weed control right now and then next year it'll break down and we're hoping even the, uh, since these are all poplar, I specifically po uh, picked poplar for the uh, slab floors, these walkways, because they rot really quickly when they lay on the ground. So my plan is to have those rot away as well, hopefully next year. All right, so it's the next morning. We're back at it. I got some help. They don't seem to be as excited about wood chips as I am. But uh, 
getting it done. It's starting to heat up. So we'll try to get uh, most of this taken care of. We've got uh, another side-by-side -side load. And uh, turning around here like a drunk. The boys almost have it all picked up. So I think we'll round out this load and be done. I think the Pitchfork Ferry paid a visit while we were gone. I decided to hold off in spreading the chips out till later this evening once the sun got off the garden. But I believe my sweet uh, wife has come in here and started spreading this around anyway. So helping, uh, helping reduce some chores that I gotta do. So <laughs> she's actually, uh, uh, Kelly's actually starting to shoot some of her own videos and we'll start releasing those here soon. But, uh, it's kind of funny I think we're kind of overlapping here she's talking about the garden stuff and so whatever we'll try not to duplicate um, since I'm on my third shirt for the day sweating and yes I am wearing shorts and black socks and oh the uh, the shoes Kelly hates my shoes I got to show you guys these so she wants she's the type of person that wants me to throw away things when it gets worn out and I'm the kind of guy that says well it's not worn out if I can still wear it but these slip on shoes are very comfortable but they're, I call them my dry weather shoes because of this. You see there the uh, soles are a little worn out, so the uh, leather's exposed. <laughs> so if I step in any water or any wet grass, it uh, soaks my socks. But as I was mentioning, since I'm on my third shirt for the day, um, we now have our red toolhouse shirts, and this is a next level shirt. It's very soft. We have those available. If you look right down below the video here, you'll see our Teespring link, and uh, you can order a shirt if you want to support us, support the channel, buy a shirt. We'd love to see uh, we'd love to see people wearing our shirts. If you buy our shirt and you want to send us a video or send us a um, a picture, we'll share it on an upcoming video, and and uh, of course give you a thanks for supporting us and supporting our channel. So check those out. Um, buy a shirt if you want. Mm -hmm. All right, on to wood chips. <laughs> 